guys, uh, we're going to do a video here on how to simplify an expression. So that's going to be the focus of this video. So you should write that down in your notes as kind of your topic today, is simplifying expressions. And first off, we should all know what an expression is. An expression is a list of things being added together, variables and numbers. So we're going to write this expression out, um, 4x squared plus x plus x squared plus 3. And there's kind of a few different things we want to be able to do here. One, we want to be able to simplify, but we also want to be able to visualize what we're looking at. So something we've been working on in class is we try to draw a visual. That's one of the things we want to be able to do. Draw a picture of what this means. We also, hopefully, can identify some important things, like what are the terms and what are the like terms. So there's a couple things I want to kind of track down. What are the terms, what are the like terms, and then finally, when I'm all done and I feel pretty good about this, I want to simplify. Simplify. So we are treating this kind of like a four-step process. We want to visualize it, we want to find the like terms, and we want to simplify. So there's like one, two, three, four steps to the process. And yes, as you get better and better at doing these problems, you're going to be able to skip some of these steps. But if you're trying to show like advanced work and you're trying to show that you understand something, I would do all four steps to get the best credit I could on something. So let's go through the four steps. Let's kind of do this together. So we just wrote up here that we have 4x squared. So what does that look like? Well, in the algebra tiles, the x squared are the squared shape ones. So here are my x squares. There's four of them. They look like this. I'm going to label them x squared, x squared, x squared, x squared. I have four of those tiles. Plus I have an x, so here's an x. Plus I have another x squared, so another one of these squares. Plus I have three. Three is like the little tiny units. One, two, three. And there's my, all my tiles. Now I'm going to add something to my picture here. Every single one of these is a positive tile. Like this is a plus x and a plus x squared. And so one of the things we do in class is we shade them in to show that they are positive. So I'm just going to lightly shade in each of these tiles. I don't see any negatives in this problem, so they're all going to be shaded, every single one of them. And the reason we're doing that is because the actual tile that we're using in class, the manipulatives, they have two sides to them. They're colored. One, one side is blue. Here's the x squared tile. One side is red, and the red is the negative side. And because we don't want to have to color blue and red every time, we just shade to show that it's positive, basically. So there it is. There's all my tiles. Now I'm going to list out what my terms are. So the terms are all the items in the problem. We have a 4x squared. We have an x. We have an x squared. And we have three units. And so I'm just going to put a little comma in between each of these and make it into like a list. The like terms are the tiles that are the same. So in this problem, I see 4x squared, but I see another x squared over here. Those are like terms. They're the same thing. So 4x squared and the extra x squared are like terms. I don't see anything else. Like this is the only x. These are the only units. I don't see any other ones that I can kind of combine together. So those are the only like terms. And to simplify, I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to combine these like terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5x squared. Plus, there's this x, plus there's these 3. So plus x, plus 3. And that is my simplified answer. And I'm done. So we want to be really good at this this year. Like This is one of the things in, in seventh grade we try to really strive for, is how to simplify expressions and combine like terms. So we're going to try a few of these in the video. So let's try another one here. This time we're going to simplify this expression. So simplify 2x plus 5 minus x minus 4. So I'm going to start with step one, which is visual. Let's draw a picture. Let's focus on those four steps. So I'm going to draw a visual of 2x plus 5. So here are two x's. One, two. They're long, skinny rectangles. They look like this. 2x is positive. There's no negative, so I'm going to shade it in with my pencil here. I'm not even shading very nice. I'm just going to shade it in lightly. Plus 5 means I have 5 units. One, two, 
three, four, five. And it's a plus five, so again, shade it in, make it positive. But then I have a minus x. So a minus x means I have a negative x. I'm not going to shade it in this time. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it empty to represent that minus x. And the minus 4 means I have four little units. But because of the minus sign, I'm going to leave them empty and negative just like that. So that's going to be my picture. That's going to be my visual. And now I'm going to go on to step 2 which is identify the terms. So I'm going to get the terms by making a list of what do I see here. Well, I see 2x plus 5 minus x minus 4. Those are the terms. So I have 2x, I have 5, I'll make a comma, I have a minus x, and I have a minus 4. Notice I'm writing the subtraction signs because subtract means negative. These are a negative x and a negative 4. Those are my terms. Now for step 3, I'm going to find the like terms. Like terms are the ones that are the same. So like terms are the tiles that match. I see a lot of like terms in this problem. I see 2x and a minus x. Well, those are like terms. They're the same tiles. So 2x and the minus x are like terms. I also see all the units. I see these 5 and these negative 4. So 5 and negative 4 are like terms. So to simplify, to do my final step, step four here, simplify. To simplify, I'm going to combine those like terms. So think of it like this. I have all the x's together. I see three x's, but notice one of them's positive, one of them's negative. If one of them's positive, one of them's negative, positives and negatives cancel each other out to zero. So what I'm thinking is, is this x and this x, when I put them together, when I put this x with this x, they go to zero. They cancel out. So this is going to go away. This is going to go away. I'm also seeing four positive units and four negative units. When I take four positives and four negatives and put them together, they cancel each other out. They go away. So if I take all those zero pairs out, Look what's left. The only thing left is an x and a 1, a positive x and a positive 1. So I am left with x plus 1, and that is my answer, all simplified. So I had to get rid of those zero pairs to make that happen. So OK, let's try another one here, new problem. This time, we're going to simplify this thing. 3 plus x squared minus x plus 2x plus 1. Go ahead and write that down. 3 plus x squared minus x plus 2x plus 1. Now there are four steps to our process that we've been practicing. We're going to visualize. So we're going to make a visual. We're going to find the terms. Terms. We're going to find the like terms. Like terms. And then when we're all done, the final step, fourth step, is we're actually going to simplify. Simplify. And those are my steps. So we're going to draw the picture, write the terms, find the like terms, simplify. Go ahead and pause the video and do it yourself first. Now I'm hoping you're unpausing the video and that you're ready to check your answer and see if you got it right. So here's what we've got for a visual. We have three units. That three is a positive three, so I'm going to shade those units in and make them dark. We also have a plus x squared. Well, that's the big teal square one that looks like this. And it's a plus, so I'm going to shade it in. We also have a minus x. OK, x is the long one. Looks like this. But it's a minus x, so I'm going to leave it empty and negative. Plus 2x means I have two more x's. Here we go. Also long rectangles. But I'm going to shade them in. So I'm going to shade. And I'm going to shade. And then I have a plus 1. So there's a little unit tile. It's a plus 1, so I'm going to shade it in, make it dark and positive. And there's my visual. Terms-wise, here are my terms. I have a 3. I have an x squared. I have a negative x. I have two x's. And I have 1. Those are my terms.
my like terms are the matching tiles. So like these three match up with that unit tile down there. So my like terms are three and one. Um, the x squared has no like terms. I don't see any other x squareds anywhere. The negative x and the 2x, those are like terms. So negative x and 2x also count as like terms. And to simplify, I'm getting rid of zero pairs if I can. So here's what I'm seeing. I see a negative and a positive x right there. Let's get rid of that as a zero pair. Together they make zero. Other than that, I don't see any other zero pairs. But I do see that these three units, combined with that one, make four total units. So I have four, plus I have an x squared, plus I have this extra x that did not zero out, so plus another x. And that is my simplified answer, and I'm all done. Now eventually we're going to start changing up the variables. Not everything's going to be x's and y's. So I'm going to show you a final example today in this video where I'm using a totally different variable, and I'm calling them m's. Simplify 3m plus 4 plus m. Okay, so in class, we've been using the little algebra tiles, but we don't have an m tile. There's no such thing as an m tile. But we can make one up really easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through those four steps. But this time, I'm going to make up my own visual. I know I don't have an m tile, but picture three m's. Maybe the m tile is um, a triangle. Here's an M, here's an M, here's an M. I just invented a brand new algebra tile. It's in the shape of a triangle. I don't know. But if that's my M, it's positive, and there are three of them. One, two, three. Got it. All right. Plus four. Okay, so I have four little units. One, two, three, four, plus another M. And because it's a plus 4 and a plus m, they're all positives. I have no negatives in this problem. So I don't have to worry about zero pairs at all. There's my visual. I just invented it and made it up. Now I'm going to list out my terms. Okay, well terms are the list of things that I have here. I have a 3m, a 4, and an m. 3m, a 4, and an m. Done. Those are my terms. Okay, step 3. Let's do like terms. My like terms are my matching ones. What matches up? Well, the triangles, the M's that I invented, the 3M and the M, those are like terms. 3M and M. Those go together. But that's it. I don't see anything else that counts as a like term. So let's simplify this thing and get an answer. Number four, simplify. Simplify. To simplify, I'm going to put all the m's together. How many m's are there all together? There's four. There are four m's. So there are four m's plus there are four units up here. So four m's plus four. And that is my simplified answer. And I'm done. So not everything's going to be x's and y's. We can do this with any variable. Any letter in the alphabet can stand for a mystery number. So Remember, if it's M's or T's or R's, that you could invent your own tile to make it work. But you just have to go through those four steps. Visual, terms, like terms, simplify. Okay, I hope that helps, guys. There's going to be more videos to come. All right, bye.